Young people are more vulnerable to coronavirus than we thought. Coronavirus does not spare the young young adults or unwitting vectors and victims of COVID-19. At a time when restaurants and bars are closed, large gatherings are canceled, and people are told to stay six feet apart in places where clear heads prevail, now has instituted online education so students can stay remote, but the university has also made clear the campus is open, the dorms are there for the living, and food service will continue. Dorm environments are places where we expect COVID-19 to transmit efficiently because people are in close proximity, and unless they can be confined to their rooms, they're sharing bathrooms, they're sharing kitchens. No big deal? Many young adults have been led to believe, by health officials, politicians, and early media coverage of the outbreak, that this whole coronavirus thing is no big deal for the young. Based on early anecdotal evidence and ill-advised statements, we've fooled the under-60 set, and particularly teens and young adults, into dangerous complacency. There are many young people who are not taking any kind of social distancing precautions, and they are now going home, that is a very big risk. Severe cases of COVID-19 attack the lungs and make breathing difficult. Children and young adults are less likely to suffer the most severe consequence or to die from COVID-19 than older people are. But in recent weeks, it's become clear that young people shouldn't count on the disease's purported age boundaries. There is this belief in some young adults that people their age don't really get sick from SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, or that if they get infected they will at most have mild symptoms. While the risk is still very low, we now know that there are younger people who become critically ill with COVID-19. Data coming out of New York and California and other parts of the country, for instance, show that young adults and teenagers have had to be placed on ventilators. An 18-year-old recently died of the disease in the UK, where others in their 20s and 30s have described their experiences with it as dangerous and you feel like you've been in a car crash and I felt like I was drowning. An early CDC analysis of 2,449 diagnosed U.S. cases in which the patient's ages were known found, these preliminary data demonstrate that severe illness leading to hospitalization, including ICU admission and death, can occur in adults of any age with COVID-19, the researchers concluded. Importantly, because younger people are more likely to carry the disease without significant symptoms, or even with none, they can unwittingly spread the deadly disease to others, including especially vulnerable older adults. You may not feel as though you are benefiting personally from staying home, but staying home might mean keeping your loved ones alive. For individuals who are at risk of being critically ill, if hospitals are taxed beyond their capacities due to huge influxes occurring simultaneously, as is already happening in parts of the country, it is a matter of life and death. The bottom line, health officials say, where governments and institutions don't take extreme social distancing measures now, individuals should, for the protection of the young and the old and everyone in between. The coronavirus outbreak is rapidly evolving. For updates subscribe and stay home, stay safe.